People create characters and ideas all of the time with the intent to sell them to bigger companies. But at what point can people actually claim that an enforceable contract was made with a bigger company? It's a dogfight of deliciously spicy proportions in the 1999 case of Wrench LLC versus Taco Bell. Thomas Rinks and Joseph Shields developed a character called Psycho Chihuahua sometime in early 1995 and marketed him through their company, Wrench LLC. Psycho Chihuahua was a clever, feisty dog with a, quote, do not back down attitude, unquote. In 1996, Ed Alfaro, the creative services manager of Taco Bell Corporation, saw Psycho Chihuahua at a licensing trade show. Alfaro asked Wrench for materials about the character to see about using him as a potential corporate spokes character for Taco Bell. Wrench hired Strategy Licensing to conduct licensing negotiations on its behalf with Taco Bell. Alfaro asked Strategy to develop a proposal, which Strategy returned to Alfaro. Taco Bell didn't respond to the proposal, but Alfaro continued to negotiate with Strategy and Wrench. In 1997, Taco Bell hired a new advertising agency. The new advertising agency presented Taco Bell with an advertising campaign centered around a chihuahua that really wanted Taco Bell. The new advertising agency claimed it came up with its chihuahua independently of any use of psycho chihuahua. Later that same month, Alfaro met with Strategy and Wrench, saying he wanted to continue working with them. Strategy gave Alfaro more psycho chihuahua merchandise, and Alfaro passed the materials on to the new advertising agency. Five months later, Taco Bell launched a new advertising campaign built around the new advertising agency's Chihuahua, whose tagline was, quote, Yo quiero Taco Bell, unquote, or I want Taco Bell. Wrench sued Taco Bell in the United States District Court for the Western District of Michigan. Wrench claimed that Taco Bell breached an implied contract with Wrench by using the other Chihuahua in its new commercials. Taco Bell sought summary judgment, alleging that Wrench couldn't prove an implied contract and that Wrench's claims were preempted under the Federal Copyright Act. 